cut, we're gonna do all circles slash holes. Forgot to put tabs on. <laughs> this turned out pretty, pretty nice. I have a little, a little burn through here, but there's hardly any, any slag on the end there. It's awesome. So this square here should be an inch by an inch. Uh, the corners are fairly square. We did have a little burn in where the lead in was. 9,000 is too big that way. 11 ish too small that way. Seems like a pretty straight cut. I mean, that's pretty crude measuring there. Uh, all right, this one is, uh, let's see, inch and a half, I think. 14 off. Four, 14, uh, 15, I mean, that's pretty close. That means I, yeah, that means I just need to play with my kerf settings to get that dead on. Still a little lead in there. But when I look at the bottom, there is hardly any slag at all. Like hardly any cleanup. I just need to get my lead-ins right. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so this time we cut it with tabs and I change the lead in the leads out rather than from the, the curve swirl type to a perpendicular cut. Uh, I still have an issue with the pausing towards the end, but it's a little better with the perpendicular cut. I'm not sure what that pausing is about. Here's our part. One of them. Here's our majority of the little squiggle. This is kind of a test cut to see how small it could do. So here's how our big square turned out. 
a little better. Still not acceptable. It's really bad on that corner. I changed the kerf. Uh, seven thousandths to hopefully get this on a perfect one and a half. Okay, now it's too big. Excellent. That is exactly what I was going for. There's some slag on here. Oh, that is that is close. Wow. That is nearly perfect. See, there's the... That is just with one tab. Our little hexagon here. Here's the bottom. I think it may have actually cut a little worse this time. Same settings other than the kerf, so... I don't know. Some things to work on still. Alright, so here's our square. Uh, it looks great. I finally figured out the issue with it pausing at the end. I had to set a rule in sheet cam to uh, not turn off before the end, essentially. The rule was before end, distance zero, feed rate 100%. So it would go all the way to the end of the lead out and then turn off. Uh, hardly any slag on the end here. Uh, let's measure it real quick. Should be an inch and a half. Wow, one thousandths, very nice. Eh, six, six thousandths, so not, not perfect. Here's our little, it's supposed to be one inch. It's very close, very awesome. Uh, you know, a little, a little big on our exterior slot. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing some cuts. Uh, we started cutting off not so great and ended off cutting pretty good. Um, it's been kind of an adventure going from assembly to the marker test for water pan. And if you haven't checked out those videos, please do. And in our next machine series, we're going to convert a old CNC knee mill into a uh, centroid all-in-one DC. Uh, so please subscribe and also like this video. We're fishing. Oh. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Come on. This is a bad idea.